How's it going, people of the Notion world? You might know me by now. My name is Carter Sirach, and I'm the productive dude most of the time. Some days I have bad days, just like we all do, but most of the time I'm the productive dude here on YouTube. And I make videos about Notion, I make videos about uh, different routines that I'm testing out, and all sorts of things related to productivity. So if you guys are into that, drop a like on this video so that this channel continues to grow and subscribe really quick. I really appreciate it. But anyways, all that mumbo jumbo out of the way. Today, I wanna share a powerful to-do list that I've shared with a couple friends in person and they're using this for things like school. Originally, I used it mainly just for work, but now I, everybody's using it. Like my family, my friends, uh, my employees, everybody is using this um, that I've mentioned it to and they're like, Carter, this is such a powerful to-do list that, that you've shown me here in Notion. And I've actually shown it to a lot of non-Notion users and it kind of got them into Notion altogether. So that's awesome and that's kind of cool. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I built this to-do list and we're gonna just rebuild it together here in Notion. So without further ado, let's get into the video and you can just follow along. Just open up another tab or open up your Notion desktop app and start working away with me. So first and foremost, this is my new home screen. Let me know if you guys like it. Uh, I just created a video on it actually. So if you wanna check that out, I'll throw a card in the corner. You can watch that uh, home screen video. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd kind of talk more in depth. But today we're gonna be focusing on this one right here, this master to-do list. So we're just gonna go ahead and rebuild this. So let's get started. I am here with a blank page and this is how you have to start this to-do list. Um, and then I like to just link out to it later on if I wanna place it within my homepage or place it somewhere else in Notion. Um, but just start with a blank page just like this. And I personally went ahead and used this uh, this check mark right here. So maybe uh, use this check mark if you, if you like the look of it. Um, and then I just call this the master to-do list, but I'm just gonna call this sandbox to-do list um, just because I don't want to uh, confuse it with my other master to-do list that I have. Um, and I just made a mistake. Got to hit Command Z because I gotta. Uh, before you click into here, make sure to uh, go down to where it says database and hit table. Okay. And I always like to start with a table, no matter what kind of database I'm building, and then I can add views around that. It's always just easiest to start with a table. Well, I should say in most cases, it's easiest to start with a table. Um, so this is basically where everything starts. And what I like to name this first column is just task. Okay, this is literally just the task name right here. All right, and then uh, after task, we have a select. And this select can be, basically it's a priority tab, okay? I have used uh, the following. So I use important, non-urgent. I use important, urgent, non-important, non-urgent. And I use non-important, urgent. Okay, and Stephen Covey talks about these in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, really, the framework around these different priorities that you can kind of bucket your tasks into is you want to get to a point where all of your tasks fall into this category, okay? Important, non-urgent. Um, you can go and look at a quadrant uh, of like what these basically are, but they fit into four different quadrants and these are different ways to describe the tasks that you're doing throughout a day. So I'm just going to sort of label them progressively into best to worst. Uh, so yeah, we have these different priorities that we can use. Another way to do this is to just add exclamation points. Some of my family and friends have just done that. So if you hit like one exclamation point, you can do that and then maybe two and then maybe three. Oh, whoops, I did another two. Then maybe three. And you can just uh, label these accordingly. So maybe this is like not super urgent. Maybe this is more urgent. And then maybe this one is extremely urgent. It just depends on how you wanna label out your priorities. I usually stick to this one here. Um, but I can see how a lot of people would like this method of just using the exclamation points for their priority. Or you can get, a, you, can get you know, creative with this, use whatever you want for the priority. Um, I'm actually just going to delete these because this can get a bit confusing if you, if you haven't read that book. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend you kind of look into that methodology of thinking. But for now, let's use the exclamation points. The next thing, of course, that we need on any to-do list is a checkbox. So this is just completion status. Um, I'm just going to put complete. Okay, we're gonna size that down a little bit. 
Great, so next we need to do uh, what's called a due date, and this is a DO date. If you wanna learn more about due dates, as in DO dates and uh, due dates, D-U-E dates, uh, you can check out uh, August Bradley. He makes lots of great videos. I'm gonna leave his uh, video about due dates um, linked in the description, so definitely check him out. Uh, cool guy, way smarter than me when it comes to Notion, to be honest with you guys. You probably learn a lot from him, so definitely check him out if you get a chance. Um, so due dates and DUE dates. These are kind of self-explanatory, but a due date, a DO date, is basically the day that you plan on doing something. Okay, so if I plan on doing something tomorrow on the 24th, I'm gonna put it in there for, for DO date. Um, sorry, I got my walkie-talkie going off in the background. Jeez, what the heck? Um, anyways, uh, you got DO date, so you got tomorrow, and then you got, uh, maybe it's actually due, the DUE date, on Saturday, okay? So you gotta pick a day when you're actually gonna do it, and then a day when it's actually due. Um, and for most sort of tasks that you'd create, they, they'll have both of these things. And if you don't have a due date, it's good to create one because it'll create urgency and it'll get you to actually take action on your task. So that's kind of how those work. And if you want to remind yourself, uh, make, make sure to turn on a reminder and then hit on day of event. And 9 a.m. is a little late for me for a reminder. So I like to turn on include time. And then I like to just do like right before I wake up. So let's just say 5 a.m. Um, that way, if I get up at 6 a.m., I have a reminder already in my email ready that, hey, you got to get on this. This is what's what you're doing today, essentially. So that's how I like to sort of uh, structure that out. Now that these are all complete, we basically just start using this thing. Um, but a better way to use it, in my opinion, uh, is to add a view and just do a list. Okay, hit create list. And uh, now this list view is going to load up. And you want to go up to properties here and just turn them all on. Okay, you want them all on. And now let's start adding some data here. So let's get a new task up in here. Um, I'm actually, let's create a template actually. Um, I just like to go uh, new template and then you can put in an icon. I like to stick with this little check here and then you can just hit new task. And here you'd put in your DO date and your DUE date and your priorities, okay? I'm just gonna enter the, um, well, this is the template still, so let's just, let's keep this like that. Now let's delete these and we'll just use the template new, new task. And I'm just gonna enter the name, so maybe it's walk the dog, okay? And uh, just a good rule of thumb is you should always use a verb to start these sort of um, uh, tasks. Otherwise, it's not really gonna be a task. It might be more of a project that you're, that you're speaking of. Um, or it might be something that's not really action related and usually I like to add actions in here okay that's the best way to categorize your tasks in my opinion all right um, and then we add another new one all right so now I've got these four tasks and one last thing that you want to do is sort of just sort these out okay so if I hit sort hit add sort I can sort them alphabetically just by hitting task and then just changing this to ascending um, or uh, you can do the, the opposite way by hitting descending, but that's not really helpful when you're doing a to-do list. What you really want to do is sort them by DO date or DUE date based on, you know, what's most important to you. Um, I would say DO date. That's what I usually do. And then you're going to want to hit ascending and that's just going to show us the DO dates in order. And then another sort that I like to add is a priority sort. So if I go priority and then hit descending, that means it's actually going to put this one right here with the exclamation points on top of walk the dog because this one is more important in this case um, in terms of priority. Um, but you will have to use something like these exclamation points if you want to do this uh, because it's going to sort these alphabetically technically. But if you just use exclamation points to do this, you can do them ascending or descending and it'll basically put them in order. And now it'll show us the most important task that I have to do on the, the nearest uh, DO date. So this is really cool. This has been an extremely powerful to-do list that I've uh, created here. Um, if you guys start uh, checking things off on this to-do list, um, what you might wanna do is hit uh, filter and hit add, uh, add filter, and then you can go to complete is not, and it will only show you what's uh, not complete. So when you check something off, it disappears, okay? And then you can add a view for uh, archive. So it's just list and then I'm just going to call it archive, hit create. And this will show all of the tasks. If I go filter, add filter, and then I can do complete is complete. Okay. So it'll only show the ones that are complete here. 
and I'm actually going to bring in the properties just so I have them here. And when I get rid of these, they'll go right back to my to do list. So now I've got an archive and I've got a list view. Okay. And then let's say I wanted to put this on my homepage over here. I'm going to put another one down here. Let's just say I'm going to go slash linked and then create linked database. And we're just going to go and find uh, the database that I just created within here, sandbox to do list, and boom, it's right in here. And now I can sort of manage this thing. Uh, you will need to add different views here again. Um, but basically, that's how you would link it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. My camera actually died midway through and my microphone died. But thankfully, I had my computer mic recording. I've got the new MacBook 16 inch, you know, it's got all the it's loaded with features rightfully so paid way too much for it has a good mic on it so we'll see how it turns out anyways just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video and i really hope that you enjoyed this video and you actually use this to-do list okay that's part of it you got to use it if you're gonna watch this video and make it use it on a daily basis commit to it and i trust me this is going to make a huge difference in your life it'll improve your life to be able to write things down and actually complete them with a flexible to-do list like this but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below letting me know, and subscribe to see more videos like this. See you guys in the next one. Peace.